you win the 100 meter gold, me and Ocho, 25,000 apiece. Bet. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is how we should support our athletes, like this. Good day, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You are watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I really do appreciate every you guys, <laughs> every you guys. <laughs> I really do appreciate every one of you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. If you do enjoy the content that I put out, make sure you click that like button right there. And also follow me on the platforms you see above and below. All right. Appreciate sure it. Last thing, double check to make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because you most likely have been unsubscribed if you think you are still subscribed to me. All right. OK, so this might be a little off, a uh, little off of what I usually generally do. But if you guys do not know, yes, I was an athlete, a dominant one and still am an athlete as of right now. I know I'm 42 years old, but still I can still do everything I can do when I was 18 years old. Seriously, I can Anyway, get that off to the side. Point is, I competed on a professional level doing triple jump. I traveled all over doing triple jump, even went outside the country doing triple jump. Been invited to certain leagues, Diamond League, different things like that. I'm just letting y'all know I know how the USATF, AA, and all these stuff. I know how all this works. Point being, a lot of people assume that when you are competing professionally, like we get this thing called prize money. We get money if we get invited to a meet. We get money if we place in the top five, whatever, like that when we have these professional meets around the country or even in the United States, Diamond League, different things like that. reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of people would assume that if you are an Olympic athlete, you just got bank coming in. You would think that when you win that gold medal, that that gold medal is worth a lot of money, more than what you think it is. But it's actually not. Most of the money that athletes get comes from endorsement. There was a time where I was sponsored by ASICs and, you know, as long as I upheld as a good citizen, and stayed away from certain type of foods. I couldn't get caught drinking certain things that ASIC was in competition with. Yes, y'all, it goes deep. Anyway, no allows, as we know, one to 100 meter dash. And it, to me, in my opinion, was one of the most phenomenal finishes of any 100 meter dash, unless y'all can come up with it. Usually when somebody 100 meter dash, it was obvious who won. This case, Noah had to fight for it. He had to fight for this. This boy won by like a nose. I'm talking about like not even a whole nose. I'm talking about like the goddamn gone tip of his nose. Because, oh, boy, and I got to give y'all my ancestry. Don't get me wrong. We've been killing it. I know, you know, American and all that. But my ancestry, my blood, Jamaican. Ah, whoo, me, I can, boy, I can, y'all have no idea. That boy was coming. Woo-wee. Both them Jamaican boys were coming. But Noah pulled it off. He pulled it off. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention is because there was a conversation between Shannon Sharp and Ocho. Shannon oh, Sharp and Ocho. Both of them was talking about how the U.S. gold medal and its worth. And they found out it was worth 37000 They was kind of upset with that because there are some places, boy, these bad boys is worth like $500,000 in some countries like one of them is almost a million dollars in their currency. No, 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 no. Almost a million dollars in USD in this other country. I forget what it is. I can't bring it up. I can't think about it at the top of my head. But in one country, this bad boy. Let me see. Let me see. Olympic. Let's put this in. Olympic medal worth by country. Let's put it in top. Let's put in top Olympic medal worth. Okay, we keeping the secrets? What the heck is this all about? Why, why are they trying to keep this a secret? I, I swear I like saw this the other day, guys. This is weird. Why are they keeping it a secret? Like, they don't want us to know now because it came out? That's crazy. Okay, there we go. Let me see if I can share this screen with y'all because this is this is this is pretty wild. I definitely want y'all to see this though. So hang tight, y'all. See, I'm bringing it up right here. Let me bring it back down. Boom! Look at this. I don't know how good you guys are gonna be able to see this. Look at that. Look at these countries. Look at that. That is wild. Look at that. Look at these countries and how much they bring. Look at Hong Kong, 768,000. That's USD, y'all. It's not like you, it's not their currency. It's what it would be worth 
in the U.S. And here in the United States, 30, 36,000 for the gold medal, 23,000 for the bronze, 15,000 for, I mean, 23,000 for the silver, 15,000 for the bronze. Now, y'all might say, man, that's a whole lot of money for this work. But, man, look at these other countries. Look, all this work they put in, they only get to do it every four, every four years. Every four, this is what I hate about it. When I did this, I used to always complain, like, can we go and try to fight this, get something in law? Because all these other sports get to compete for a championship, so to speak, every year. But we only get to do the Olympics every four years, and we age. And you only got so much. Like, every year in the NBA, every year in football, they all got every year. They turn a year older. They got that time to possibly win a championship. When you do track and field, we got only four years before we can show the whole world what we made of. And then to find out that when you do get a gold medal, 37000 I mean, I'm pretty sure it all probably can go on eBay or something like that. It might get you higher, but that's crazy. I didn't, oh, man. So most of your money come through sponsorships is what I'm getting at. Well, anyway, you had Shannon Sharp and Ocho who made a proclamation saying they were pretty much upset with how the uh, athletes – we're getting oh, paid so low, and they offered. I'll let them tell it. Check it out. How much are individual gold medals worth in each country yeah. by territory? The U.S. Wait, we only get 37000 We should at least 200000 Hey, no allowed. If you win the 100-meter gold, me and Ocho, 25000 apiece. Bet. You know, I don't like to spend no money. You too, Shakari. You get that 100 Nephew, hey, right. You win the gold, twenty five k. No allows train four years for nine seconds. Noah, we got you. Oh, Sid. Oh, the hurdle. Yeah. You might as well mail Sid her check now. Yeah. That's 100K. We good. I'll pay 50000 any American to break a world record. I don't give a damn what the event is. Hold on. Out of my pocket. I got 50. Here go 50000 right here. Sometimes you need a little motivation, right? I got another 50 right here. We're not playing. 37000 you done bust your ass for four years straight to represent our country and the payout saying thank you for the work you put in is 37 fucking thousand. Come on, man. Yeah, I love that. $50,000 to the athletes if they get the gold medal. Now, only thing is I got to talk about this. Is this $50,000 that they get a gold medal? Because somebody like Simone Bowser, you giving them 50 G's per gold medal? Because, woo, woo, that would be something. Anyway. Shout out to Shannon Sharp and Ocho for coming out and showing their support for American athletes like they are right now for saying they'll pass this out if they get a gold medal. To me, I feel that would be awesome if other athletes, multi-millionaire athletes, if they would come out and do the same thing just to show our American hard working, putting their bodies on the line athletes representing the U.S., to show them how much they appreciate them. Anyway, let me know what y'all think on this subject right here, folks. Don't forget to do this right there. You know, like, leave a comment, and let me know what y'all think of this whole thing right here. Do you think that was an awesome gesture by Shannon Sharp and Ocho? Let me know. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.